Hey guys, welcome back to Angels of Death. If you if you're following me on YouTube, then you should know I'm also playing Fate Stay Night. Uh, don't worry, I'm not dropping Angels of Death. I really like this game. I just want to play more games while I'm at it, so I'll be uploading both. Um, so yeah, let's continue. I can make out something in the back. Is it a door? It wouldn't hurt to check. What's this hollow spot? If I stand here on top of it, a switch sounds. But nothing happens. The door is tightly shut. And there's no keyhole. There's some sort of mechanism like hollow spot. There's some sort of mechanism like hollow spot in the floor but standing on it doesn't open it. Alright, then what am I supposed to do? Find the switch. Where the switch at? Maybe I should go back to Zack. Zack! Is somebody there? Um... I know what you desire. I like you, so I'll make you lovely. After all, this is my domain. Oh no, it's a new master. It's a new master! <laughs> Let's run. Well, I, I'm press. I'm holding the down button. This floor is... Yeah, I'm holding down and shift. Hey! What are you messing around for? Hurry up! You better head back for a bit. Yeah, I'm out. I'm, out. I'm so out. Yep, all the greys are destroyed. <laughs> Cause this 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 angry boy destroyed everything. <laughs> What's this? What took you so long? What the hell were you up to? I should ask this <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and any news? Beyond the door in the back, right side. There was some sort of archives room. There was another door in the back of that room too. It also had no keyhole and was shut. Ah, another one. Oh, and I found this. Eh? A resume. A resume. What's written on it? It's about me, Rachel Gardner. That's worthless. All it does is tell your story. Nothing more, nothing less. Also, there was also one for some guy named Isaac. Is that you? And what are your impressions from reading that? Yep, that's right. I'm Isaac Foster. Your impressions? Nothing special. It's a sheet of paper about you. Nothing more, nothing less. Are you not afraid of me? Afraid? No, I'm not. A girl like you once said the same thing a long time ago. At first she was afraid, but once she got wise to me being the serial killer in the newspapers. She started acting different toward me. Then she wouldn't shut the hell up. I'm not afraid of you, or I'm your biggest fan. It was cute, so I gave her a five second head start instead of the usual three. Too bad she didn't get far. So when I tried to kill her, she went crazy. I didn't know what the hell to make of it, so 
So I told her to hold still if she wasn't afraid. Then... She screamed that she was... She only said that... Because she feared for her life. I guess the dumb... <laughs> thought she, she... Man, this guy needs to chill. <laughs> <laughs> she killed she killed the woman, didn't she? I hate liars. So I killed her. Is that story supposed to relate to my quest to have you kill me? Eh? If I took the same approach, could I get you to kill me? Oh yeah, you gave me three seconds, not five. Are you crazy? Oh crap. That's right. She wants me to kill her. So her not being afraid means... What's wrong? Nothing. So wait, why aren't you afraid of me? I don't even know you very well. Know me? You read that paper, didn't you? What are you, illiterate? Yes, me and Ray are both illiterate. Get it right, Zack. I read it. But I just met you earlier, so... I still don't know much about you. Therefore, I have no interpretation of you. Meh, have it your way then. Oh, and is that all? Um... There was a mechanism in front of the door, but I believe there's probably another one, so I'm gonna take a look around here. I see. Oh, and something else. You're still not done. I heard a voice. I think it's from the master of this floor. The voice said it knows my desire. You don't say. Hey, let's move. Ah, but before we go... I just gotta smash this one too before it drives me the friggin' wall. Wait! Huh? This one's a stubborn one! Are you serious, Zack? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I'm OCD like that. The gravestone being the only one left was bugging the crap out of me. Hey, let's head out. There's no grave for you here. Once we get out of the basement, I'll find you a nice one. Oh, at least she's gonna give me a grave. Not just kill me and leave me there. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, we... Alright, now where do we go next? There's a small note. Let me help you. No thanks. Hey, you find something? It's nothing. Hey look, there's another one. There's a small note. If you want to suffer, I'll make it painful. If you want to go without pain, I'll be gentle. Whichever way you prefer. Is there going to be another one? Oh, <laughs> there is. There's a small note. Hey, how do you want to die? What do you keep stopping for? It says I'll gladly kill you. <laughs> no, No more notes? Something's floating in the water. Is that... What I think it is? Oh, that? What are we gonna do about it? I'm not sure, but I want you to go in there and stand in the submerged hollow area. In that water? You want me to do what? If you're gonna cry about it, then... Hey, I didn't say I wasn't gonna do it. Unlike you, there's no way in hell I'd die in a place like this. You've been silent as crap this whole time. 
Anyways, don't get any crazy ideas about dying or being killed. I'm not gonna be stuck here any longer than I gotta be. Are you really gonna kill me? I'm such... I'm such a nobody. If you wanna die so bad, then why not just kill yourself? Because it's unforgivable. Huh? Why is that? Because it's... Will of God? Hell if I know. Well, even I'm not entirely sure. But if it's the word of God, then it must be absolute. It's unforgivable. Oh, God says so, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your worth to me before I can kill you. What do you want? Make yourself useful. Also, if I'm gonna kill you, you can try to make it worth my while. Show anger or cry for your life. Show anger or cry for my life? You know, facial muscles to show emotion. Um, sure you're not already dead? I'm alive, so I want you to kill me. Ah, fine, fine. Hey, can you give me a smile? Smile. <laughs> oh, she's smiling, but she does not look happy. <laughs> How's that? You're dead in the eyes. Yeah, that's not good. What are we wasting time on this crap for? Hey, so I just need to stand on top of that thing over there? Well, hurry and get over there already. It's cold and gross over here. Okay. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta back to the place earlier with... What? What? <laughs> Whatever. Probably a translation mistake. I gotta whatever. So you mean the one with the dark room? Please don't tell. Oh, another note. Don't be startled. You know why? Because we are one and the same in our desires. Kid, what are you talking about? dark. I gotta turn on a light. Use it yourself. Why don't you go to the inventory every single time? The small note. I shall grant what you desire, but I've got my own desires as well. If possible, I want you to devote- I'm gonna die. Why would I devote myself to you? I mean, isn't it great being in love? Oh no. Do we have a pedophile? Is is it is it the doctor? He's al he's alive. I know he's alive. He's been twitching. I know all about you. You want to die, right? Yeah, so why would I devote your myself to you? Right? So, just say yes. No. The door unlocked. Stop. <laughs> Stop, dude. Crap, how long do I gotta stay in the water for? Hey, feels like something rang under my feet. That means I can move now, right? Wonder how she's doing. Guess I'll head back to the hole she went in. Oh, I'm playing a Zack. Alright, I'm getting it here. So, are we gonna meet the next master soon? Probably. Well, 
thanks for joining in again. See you next time. Bye.